What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're here at a special location for a very special car. I got a 2020 Subaru Legacy Limited, and this is the XT trim. But before we dive into this turbocharged all-wheel drive Subaru, let's talk about what's going on here. The Legacy, this vehicle really is what Subaru started laying down their awesome rally heritage with before the Impreza was even a thing. With the Legacy, this being a midsize, it's going up against some big heavy players. You're looking at heavy hitters like the Honda Accord, the Toyota Camry, and the Honda Sonata, including the Mazda 6. But what Subaru says, with this all new design, total redesign for 2020, new global architecture and turbocharged power, that you're gonna be able to get the best of everything that you want in your midsize sedan. So let's go ahead. Let's find out, is the Subaru Legacy XT the best midsize for your money? Right off the bat, you'll notice the new styling, this crimson red, very unique color, not totally red, not totally pink, not totally purple, kind of fits a lot of different spectrums. Looking up front, you're gonna get your LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps. I like the way that they blacked out the interior a little bit. Work your way down, some chrome trim just sprinkled in, kind of balances out. And of course, you're gonna get fog lamps. The great news is no fake vent and some nice smooth flat black on the front fascia. Now, when we come across the grill, simplicity is the name of the game. We have some flat black horizontal slots. You have, of course, that iconic Subaru logo and the way that it's flanked with the chrome trim here really gives it a nice style from one side to the other. Work your way down. You're gonna have some horizontal and some vertical slots in this open air grill, lower grill area. I like the way they kind of took this piece of uh, front fascia and extended it down, really gives it a lot of character. And you could definitely tell big things in store for 2020. Now, when we get up onto the hood, nice rise all the way towards the windscreen. And really, other than that, there's not a bunch of body lines except for what's going towards the A-pillar. Now, when we come around the bend, when you go limited, you're getting a little bit larger wheel and tire. So you're gonna have this machined aluminum, gloss black. It's an 18 inch wheel, 225 in the width, meaty 50 series sidewall. And what I like, no flat black plastic. And this hard body line that they put gives it some extra character. Wheels could be spruced up a little bit more pizzazz for the XT, but other than that, definitely an improvement from the previous generation. Now going into the fender, Nice rounded curves, we have chrome treatment. And look at the way the trim flows into the side mirror. You have your turn singles, color match mirror caps, standard sunroof, chrome trim, top and bottom. Nice belt line all the way towards the rear. And I'm so glad that they just had it, the, the chrome trim extend all the way back into the rear pillar. It's interesting to think of if this would have been better to have been some glass rather than just solid black plastic, especially when it comes to visibility, but we may never know what that would be like. Body line coming into the rear tail light, super clean off the trunk. For the limited trim, it would be nice to have a little bit of a trunklet spoiler, but you're getting the updated tail light design, your Legacy XT badge, Subaru all wheel drive, and one exhaust on each side with a very, very clean rear bumper area. But why don't we go pop the hood and see the power plant for this Legacy XT. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod, but the good news is it's all the way over to one side. Underneath that hood, now you may be saying, well, Joe, isn't that engine dirty? We're almost doing like a long-term test with this vehicle. This vehicle has 16,000 miles, and you can see this is what the wear would look like underneath your, the hood. And what you're looking at is that turbocharged flat four engine. So it's a 2.4 liter turbocharged flat four. You got the intercooler up top, 260 horsepower, 277 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a CBT transmission that simulates an eight-speed automatic. MPGs, even with full-time all-wheel drive, 24 in the city, 32 on the highway. The car weighs 3,790 pounds, zero to 60 in about 6.1 seconds, and top speed around 145 miles an hour. It's one of those things. Having the flat four engine, that boxer engine, is actually gonna help increase your center of gravity by lowering that, increase your handling. And as you can see, this is what the engine looks like after 16,000 miles. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to that interior and see what big things are in store for the new Legacy. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Legacy XT. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I need a new midsize sedan. I live up north. I don't wanna be slipping and sliding in the snow. How much is this Subaru? The way it is 
Option now, MSRP for a limited, you're looking at $35,400. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, door panels, absolutely love the soft touch material. You're gonna have the beige with the darker material, really breaks it up so it's not a boring door panel. The elevated level of materials is ridiculous. Soft touch, the stitch work, a little bit of silver, a little bit of gloss black, small on the door pocket. So I am gonna design the door pocket because maybe two tacos from Taco Bell and you're gonna to have to just leave the jalapenos out of it. You can put a bottle of Coca-Cola in there to wash it down, and you have the optional Harman Kardon sound system. Now, when you get to the dash, soft touch material, soft touch material, nice silver trim. You got a Kit Kat or a Butterfinger holder here. You could easily put two Butterfingers, soft touch material, and then look at what we have here. All new 11.6 inch vertical infotainment system screen, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I throw it into reverse. There's your backup camera with trajectory, put it back in the park, and then guess what? You have your AC controls. Now the AC controls are always gonna be at the bottom. You have heated seats, no ventilated seats. So I am gonna zonk that. I wish there was ventilated seats at $35,000, but you can adjust temperature by using the buttons here. I hit the little car, and then now we could go into those different settings, turn on and off all of the safety features that this car has, and this car has a ton. Now, you do have another cubby. Drop two Twinkies in there if you want. You have two USBs and an aux jack. This is gonna control that CVT automatic transmission. And like I said, this car has 16,000 miles, actually more than 16,000 miles. Wear is very minimal. So if you're wondering, well, how's all this gonna wear after time? It's looking really great. You have a banana holder. You can put one banana on each side, soft touch, two cup holders, your standard Subaru key fob. It's a great key fob. Still looking good, super soft on the armrest, and then watch this. We could put a bag of, of uh, gummy bears in there, and you have a 12 volt, so you could heat up your gummy bears. Nobody wants a hard gummy bear, nice soft gummy bear, or you could even have, watch this, a gummy bear tray. So if you wanna quickly pop them, one, two, three, nice and soft, like they've been sitting in your pocket for four months. Close that up, seats, soft material, perforated, I'm telling you, if you haven't been a legacy, they really have upped their game. Electric assist, ah, the sunroof, standard size, but that's okay. You got the version 2.0 eyesight. It uses camera technology, slim and trim out of the way. But why don't you come over to the business end behind the wheel? I wanna show you what's going on with this legacy XT. All right, guys, business time. You do have two memory seat settings, which is really nice. And you can see all the finishes on the switch gear. Seat controls, easy to get to, easy peasy. I'm six feet tall, six feet tall. I got plenty of headroom. Look at how the material comes all the way over to the edge. Soft touch. Steering wheel, it's good looking, it's thick. It's got nice baseball contrast stitching all the way around. Decent on the horn button. All your flat black button safety features. You can shift through those simulated eight gears. And then the instrumentation, you're gonna have that digital display in the center. It's a four inch display. And then you're gonna have an analog tech, analog speedometer. Other than that, super clean especially with this 11.6 inch vertical infotainment system. But why don't we check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like this midsize sedan. All right, guys, we're inside the back seat. What I like is look how smart Subaru is. They know your kids are gonna pick their nose, so they make the backs of the seats a dark material, easy to clean. You could put some books in here, 20,000 leagues under the sea, tale of two cities. Let people know that your kids are smart, even if they're not, put some books in there. Heated seats, and then check it out. You have two USBs, and AC vents with a little bit of silver trim. I have my own pocket here. You could basically put a softball in there. If you wanna say, hey, I don't wanna read, I wanna play with my balls, put a softball in there. Plenty of headroom. The way they notch this out is really nice. Soft touch, and then watch this, boom. Soft armrest, two cup holders. But why don't we check out that trunk and see what kind of junk we could put in our Subaru Legacy XT. All right, guys, time to see what kind of junk we could put in the trunk. You're gonna hit the rubberized button, which is, it's a little hard to find. It's kind of tricky because they put it right there. And then you open it up, nice wide opening. The good news is, is that trunk has a deep floor and you could fold down those seats, 60-40 split, pull those handles, makes life so easy. You're looking at 15.1 cubic feet of space. And probably the big news that I wanna show off is guess what? You have all your equipment here and a spare. So they're not gonna cheat you out at Subaru and just give you a can of flat fix and a hope and a prayer. They wanna make sure that you get home. And boy, are you gonna get home safe? Because remember, five plus rating from the Highway Institute when it comes to safety. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's see how this all-wheel drive turbocharged legacy 
goes down the road. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Subaru Legacy XT. I'm telling you right now, if it's been a while since you've been in any Subaru, this thing is really amazing when it comes to the fit and finish and the quality of materials. This all new screen here is amazing. Let me go ahead and we're gonna get on throttle. Here we go. So you can see how that all wheel drive really keeps you planted. Uh, yeah, the weak link is gonna be that CVT, but it does have that simulated eight speed effect to it where it behaves like an eight-speed automatic, even though it is a CVT transmission. But with that 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, you're not waiting long for the boost to come in and you are off and running very, very quickly. Now, like I was saying before we went on throttle, that 11.6 inch screen really stands out from the rest of the midsize pack. It's so clear, it's so easy to use. I mean, you pull up your navigation very, very easily. There we are driving along. You got your eyesight technology. I don't know if you heard the beeping that was telling me I was coming out of my lane. So you obviously have that great eyesight technology that allows you to stay safe and arrive alive every time you drive. Now, the great news about the eyesight technology while we're sitting here is it's a camera system that's mounted up here instead of sensors in the bumper so what that means is you don't have to worry about mud or dirt or debris covering up the eyesight technology if your windshield gets dirty then guess what you turn on the windshield wipers and all is well in the world now looking out the back it's a little tight with the headrests and the way that the roof line kind of comes down a little bit on the inside but you know what visibility is still really uh well done in the legacy Side mirrors work great. I love the way they put the blind spot monitoring very um, nicely on the edge. It's this bright yellow LED light to let you know if somebody is in your blind spot. And that is so much better than just a little tiny icon on the actual mirror glass. But let's go ahead and do another acceleration test here. I'm gonna slow down to a slow roll on throttle. Here we go. On the brakes. Brakes feel good. All wheel drive keeps you planted, allow me to pivot the rear of the vehicle, which is great. And that just allows you to square off the corner and aids with accelerating. Now, obviously this being a mid-sized family sedan, it's not like an STI version or anything like that. So you are gonna have a softer suspension, which is okay because you want that extra comfort while you're driving, especially on long trips with the fam. But you know what? It does have that ability to where if the road gets twisty, this symmetrical all-wheel drive system in this Legacy XT really behaves very, very well. Not a ton of body roll. What you are gonna notice is that the seats have great support, great padding, the material, armrest, soft, on both the center console and the door armrest. It's easy to get to everything. Steering wheel has a nice thickness. There's not a ton of gloss black in here. Besides what's around the infotainment system and your shifter and a little bit near that uh, king size snicker tray. Other than that, the gloss black is really, really kept super low. Gauges, yeah, they're not fancy digital, but the good news is they're easy to read, backlit, LED, but let's go ahead and uh, see how she handles once again. All right, guys, we're gonna do another acceleration test. On throttle, here we go. I'm telling you, I wish they would put this engine in the new BRZ. On the brakes. I'm telling you, brakes feel good. Look at this, look at the handling. Good feedback coming to the wheel, dab in the brake. Holds the line very nice, constant throttle. Super, super smooth. It's very quiet inside the cabin, so you're definitely gonna get 
a different sense of sound deadening compared to the previous generation legacy. And boy, oh boy, where the legacy first started, this is leaps ahead when it comes to comfort, materials, and of course, that turbocharged fun. I mean, that's, you get on throttle, you're gone. Be interesting to see how this car would be with a true automatic transmission, whether it be an eight speed, 10 speed, 42 speed, 104 divided by five minus six speed. It would just be interesting, but this is my favorite. The Obviously the infotainment is the big talking point. Your AC control stays solid across the bottom. Would be nice to have ventilated seats, so I am gonna still zonk that, but you have your heated seats easy to get to. You hit the home button, obviously. You could go into your different settings, XM radio. So boy, oh boy, did they raise the bar on themselves with their own vehicle. And if you're looking for a midsize and you want something that just handles differently, super safe. This is probably one of the safest midsize, if not the safest midsize in the segment. You definitely got to check out one of these legacies. But we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this one up. So I will see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a fun day with the Subaru Legacy XT. I definitely want to thank everybody at Subaru USA for allowing Radies Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. It was nice to see one with 16,000 miles. What does it really look like? 16,000 miles in less than a year and really is aging well. The materials are great and boy oh boy, the changes that Subaru have done with the chassis, with that turbocharged flat four engine and that interior that really is second to none. Boy oh boy, if you're looking for a midsize sedan, you need to definitely add this to your list. But if you want to keep seeing midsize sedans on Radies Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to get it up to Crown Vic, working his butt out here, sweating like crazy. You know what? I'm going to get him a hot dog. He wants a hot dog with some sauerkraut. And I can't blame the guy, so I'm going to get him too. So thank you, Vic, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.